Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 17 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you are not yet watched previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. So in this video, I will show you how to add master datas like brands category subcategory gender and different sizes for different brand and category. Create a new form to add brands to our database, these are already discussed in the previous tutorials. Create button click event. Now our form is ready. We need to insert the form data to database. We already did DB insert in sign up page, so copy the code. Add references. We need to change our insert query to insert into table brand. Change the text box name. Now we are going to insert data to the brands table. Click add and refresh the table to see the data. After insertion clear the text box. Next we need to create add category form. So follow the same procedure for creating add brands form. Run and add category. Refresh the table to see if the data is saved. Now create a form to add subcategory. In subcategory form we need a drop down to bind all main categories. Add subcategory name field. Now our design will look like this. Now we need to bind all main categories to drop down. In page load event check if the page is not a post back. Inside that create function to bind all main categories. In sign in page we already take database value to data table. Like that take all main category to data table. Change the query. Now bind the data table to drop down control. Now run the page. 
Now the main categories are binded. Add select item with value 0, this will create new item with select text. Now in the button click write the code to insert the data. Change the query and controls. After inserting reset the controls. Now the data is successful added and main category ID is saved. Now create a form to add gender type. Run and test the form. Data inserted. Next we need to add size data. Size is different for different brand and category. The final design look like this. Refer the code and create. In code behind we need to bind the drop downs. This is the code to bind brand and main category. Next we need to bind the subcategory when selecting a main category. So we can bind the subcategory of that specific main category. Create a new index changed event in drop down category. Also set auto post back to true to post back and bind the subcategories. In order to bind subcategories first we need to get the selected main category. In index changed event store main category ID in an integer variable. Put a breakpoint and run the code to see the main category ID. With this main category ID bind subcategories. Change the query. In where condition we can specify the main category ID direct from drop down or from the variable. Change control name and parameters. Run the page and select a category. Now the subcategories are binded successfully. Next bind gender drop down. Now we binded all the controls. Now insert this data to the database. Change the query. Also reset the control after insertion. Now let's test our page. Input all the fields.
Click Add. There is an exception of data type. That is the data type of size name is binary, so change the data type to nvarchar, this will resolve this issue, sorry for that. Update the table and run again. Now we successfully added all fields to the DB. Now we created all forms to insert our master data. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, thank you.